Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What's a sexual activity that seems exciting but often turns out to be less enjoyable than anticipated? Standing 69. Anytime we do it, I end up with the worst headaches from being upside down too long. And the worst part is, my wife thinks I'm faking the headaches. Your wife's jaw muscles are extremely impressive. Look honey, no hands. Quote. LMFAO. Sex by a river or lake. Mosquitoes on your sack is not an enjoyable experience. Only when a mosquito lands on your testicles, you will truly learn that there is always a way to solve problems without using anger and violence, Confucius. I wonder if it's true, but they always quote Confucius. Francis Bacon. <laughs> Fucking in a cornfield. You think you've beaten the system, sneaking through a few rows of corn so you can get it on in the fresh open air, but the ground is either too soft and mud gets everywhere in a bad way, or dry and clumpy, the corn is too close together for good maneuverability, so you need to hunt around for a gap. If you wait until corn maize season, you get too many kids coming across you. Did you learn that last part from experience? Question mark. I made out with my girlfriend in a dead end at a corn maze. Legit got slayed by a little kid that came around a corner and shouted, EWWW gross. Didn't think this was a horror maze. Anything where sex plus water, pool, ocean, shower etc. Water is not a good lubricant. Ocean or lake is worse because you're pumping that nasty water inside them. I was quite young when I had sex in the ocean for the first time. Freaked out afterwards thinking about how wrecked I'd get if whale semen or something of the like had gotten in there. Lemfow. Sex standing up with a really big height difference like 5 feet 2 and 6 feet 4. Either weird bendy legs or tippy toes and bendy legs. Can't focus if I'm not standing comfortably. Step stools are great for that my friend. What are you doing step stool? Sex on the beach. Sand, so much sand. Anakin can relate. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. Hey, I just got back from Jamaica. Tan almost everywhere, Jan almost everywhere. Teehee. Oh diary, what a week. I had sex with my boss. I don't know if it's going to go anywhere. Jan was very specific that this is not going anywhere, that it was a one-time mistake. But we had sex six times, so you tell me. I am definitely feeling very iry. More tomorrow. Zoxo, Michael. <laughs> sex in a field. Seems super romantic and spontaneous. We both ended up getting chigger bites all of and thought the other gave stations. After some name calling and a doctor visit later, we just had big bites from our choice of bed lol. Yeah, we went for garden sex. Shame about the ant's nest. <laughs> Whipped cream. Ever accidentally spill a sugar soda and you miss a spot and it's sticky and gross when it dries? Yeah, right after the whipped cream is licked off, that area becomes sticky in the same way. Maple syrup turns into Gorilla Glue. Even waddling to the shower and separating there was painful for both of us. Edit, everyone thinks I'm Canadian now and I'm okay with it. A. Found the Canadian, guys. Exclamation mark. Looking for that guy who tried scat and regretted it. Edit, this guy. This is a great example of why people need to understand that just because you like something in porn doesn't mean you will enjoy it in real life. Porn only gives you a visual of what's happening, and a very specific heightened visual that isn't what most people will look like while doing those things. It does not give you feel, smell, or taste. Jumping right into going directly into the mouth was a hell of a choice for him. I find it wild that never for a second did he think, hmm, shit smells bad. Probably tastes bad too. I'm incredulous that he found some way to finish because if something like that happened to me I would be running to vomit and then dump the most alcohol-filled mouthwash in my mouth and gargle for the next 30 years. Porn only gives you a visual of what's happening, and a very specific heightened visual that isn't what most people will look like while doing those things. Also audio. I have thankfully never tried scat but I have tried pee sex and my experience was similar, the second I could taste the warm, salty pee in my mouth I regretted my choice. Pissing on is way different than pissing in. I had a FWB who wanted to pee in my ass and I had to tell him that would essentially be giving me an enema which would result in me having to shit very shortly following it, which would likely kill the entire fantasy for him. Maybe a fun fantasy, but I had a feeling in execution he would not like the end result. Did you politely continue though rolling on the floor laughing? <laughs> Role-playing can seem exciting but sometimes falls short of expectations if not communicated well. I put on my robe and wizard hat. Magic missile. Magic missile. Magic missile. Huh, I'm the drive, what seems to be the problem big boy? Me, I have AIDS. <laughs> Bringing food, whipped cream, chocolate, strawberries, into the equation. It's a mess. Let's just have dessert afterwards next time. I find the pastrami to be the most sensual of all the salted, cured meats. What are you doing, pleasuring you? Quote. 
sex in a Renault-type CB Coupe de Ville parked in the cargo hold of a ship while crossing the Atlantic Ocean. I second this. It ends in D-I-S-A-S-T-E-R. The water was cold. There was shrinkage. Changing room in a clothing store. Mayo called me in to check her dress, and it went from there. Because I was so scared of being caught, I lasted about 11 seconds. So longer than normal. What the fuck is O, oh, old ho, Ohio? Question mark. Other half. British term. Removed. Sex in the ocean just off a Jamaican beach where a security officer flashes a flashlight at you and tells you that it's not safe to be in the water after dark because that's when the sharks and stingrays come in to feed and may kill you. That is a common tactic we use to scare people away. Dude swimming in the marina I'm looking after, oh guys I'd get the fuck out if I were you, had a bull shark sighting last night. Works 90% of the time. The others are natural selection and a bunch of paperwork. Oddly specific. Seeing the explicit question followed by seeing the most popular comment has been removed is too funny. What the hell did he say? Shower sex. Not just slipping, but my partner got an orgasm migraine, reading a bit more about it, apparently the hot shower can raise blood pressure and cause it. She said it's crazy painful. My partner got an orgasm migraine. Suffering from success. When I was a teenager looking for privacy my GF at the time and I walked down a field road. We hooked up in the cotton field behind my parents' house and just so happened to have a crop duster fly over us as well. We were in between the rows of cotton so there were leaves all in my face and the plane was literally spraying pesticides over us. Maybe that's why I have an extra nipple I didn't have before. Lol. My brother in Christ, that might be a tumor. Sex in nature. Bugs and mosquitoes eat you alive. Sex on an office chair sounded fun, in reality we span around too fast and she fell off and hit her head on the desk cold sweat smile. Right, you totally didn't murder your co-worker. My friend broke his $800 office chair doing this with his wife. Snapped the entire backrest and arms right off. There's now a wheelie stool in his home office as a spare seat. Nobody wants to use it because we all know why it's a stool. Sex with your roommate's girlfriend. Are you my former roommate? No, he's your girlfriend. Sex in the huge space under the large rhododendron bushes in the gardens of the Palais de Versailles started well, both exhilarated and up for it at first but the mood was killed by the click of cameras and cries of encouragement in Japanese. We weren't the only ones who thought it would be cool to walk inside the bushes. Were they yelling, cumpy, winking face open mouth smile? This is a fantastic joke that only works for a pretty small selection of people. I applaud your language humor. Mile High Club legendary until you realize airplane bathrooms are tiny torture chambers. Mayor, real legends do it in the aisle. The pros go for the cockpit. I'm going to really date myself for saying this, but. Sex on a waterbed. The hydrodynamics of it always mess with the rhythm both of you are trying to maintain, changing positions usually involved one or both of you getting out, and it always seemed like more work than was actually needed. Not to mention the very real fear that, if you got too aggressive, you ran the risk of popping the mattress, which did happen to S friend if mine. One tenth, would not recommend. Edit, yes, I am sure that the waterbed technology has come a long way. But, 40 years ago they were little more than just large, heavy, square water balloons that had little or no internal baffling, or fillers that limited water displacement. This is the experience I am speaking of. X had one of those water mattresses, a bunch of water-filled tubes that looked like a regular mattress. Not nearly as squishy, and if you could get the rhythm right, the wave action did 90% of the work for you. Sex on a trampoline. You get the rhythm right and it will fuck both of you stupid. Car sex. Shower sex. Sex on an airplane. All seem great in theory and are hyped up, but in practice they are all extremely awkward. Don't get me wrong I'm not a prude, but in my experience all three of these activities are largely unenjoyable. Obviously we still have sex in these places but none are actually that enjoyable or practical. Why the fuck would you have sex on an airplane? To join the, Mile High Club, obviously, most people do it on the toilets though, but that's rancid as well. Sex in a station wagon with a mattress is fine. Only downside is so much condensation on the windows. Hee <laughs> hee, this was how the cops caught me and my wife sleeping together for the first time. We cuddled up in the back of my Mazda 5 with blankets and sleeping bags and the windows fogged. We were woken up at 2am with flashlights and knocking on the window cold sweat smile. Threesomes with a person you love. Yeah I would get hurt. Now a threesome with two people who I barely know. That would be fun. It's almost always just mad. If there's two guys one always finishes before the other and has to be around awkwardly waiting. If it's two girls one is usually left out while the others are going to town. 
If you're a guy the thought of two women is fantastic but be realistic, most of the time women can fuck longer than men anyways, and now you have to cut your time in half, there's no way you're pleasing both fully. I remember many years ago, I read a story on Reddit where a guy and his girlfriend had another couple over and they were drunk and all agreed to have a foursome. However when it came time for him to fuck the other woman, he couldn't really bring himself to do it. So he tried to tell his girlfriend that they should just stick with their so and not swap. But she either was too drunk to listen or care and he sat in a corner and watched her get plowed by this dude while the dude's girlfriend was making out with his girlfriend and playing with her tits. He's just sobbing and watching it all go down. So, this topic came up a year or so later and I wanted to reference that story. I searched and searched for it, but I couldn't find it. But I did find about a dozen similar, threesomes gone bad. It's always a, sounds like a good idea, until the act starts and someone's feelings are hurt. Yeah, I had a friend whose boyfriend begged her to be with another woman so he could watch. She finally gave in and he became furious when he saw how much she was enjoying it. That was the end of that one lol. Heard a similar story years ago, but from a close friend of mine. Her and her husband got drunk with another couple and decided to swing. It started hot and heavy, everyone was enjoying themselves, but when it came time to actually do some banging, the other dude chickened out. My friend's husband was so drunk he got offended and angry that the dude wouldn't fuck his wife. It escalated and hubby ended up pulling a gun on the other guy. Cops were called and everything. I'll never forget when my girlfriend told me that story, shit was absolutely unhinged. Like something out of a movie. Wild. I don't think they are as adventurous anymore.